One of Noguchi's famous quotes about sculpture is that if sculpture is the rock, it's also the relationship between the rocks and whoever is wandering in and amongst them. And what Noguchi was interested in, all those invisible forces that connect us to each other in the environment. And he's trying to make sculpture that function like that connective tissue. And the family is a really good example of that. The family is a group of sculptures that were made as a collaboration with Gordon Bunchaft of Skidmore Owings in Merrill, an architectural firm that he worked with frequently. The overall project was uh, made in 1956 and 1957. The family is a group, a father, a mother, and a child. They're made out of very large stone blocks that have been cut and broken and then stacked like, almost like a child's building blocks. They are very basic. They're even stacked in a way that's purposefully imprecise. So they overlap each other in strange ways. They have strange reveals. It's not at all symmetrical. It's really trying to bridge the gap between two moments in architecture. Noguchi lived in this transition between big, solid stone buildings and the international style of architecture as it came in, which is really steel and glass and transparent buildings. He was incredibly excited about sculpture as a vital force in the creation of the larger environment, what he called the sculpturing of space by which he really meant human perspective on Earth. The family was meant to be part of a much larger group of works that he thought of, generally speaking, as a garden. When Noguchi made these kinds of gardens, he often referred to them as nowheres. They're nowhere specific, but they're meant to be very familiar feeling I and mean, familiar looking, and they, they have a kind of generalized symbolism to them that makes them recognizable as human production. And that's incredibly important as opposed to something that comes directly from nature. They're shockingly large uh, when you're in and amongst them. They're not monuments, but they are monumental in scale. They're also covered in marks, which are really interesting. So they're covered in incisions and protrusions, and they've got figures that look like they've been carved into these faces. And again, these all contribute to this abstract symbology that's meant to feel familiar, but non-specific. He'd spent a lot of time going to see ancient monuments on every continent he could get to because he was trying to generalize across cultures and across civilizations so that they felt universal, so that anybody seeing the family could recognize it and see themselves in it. He wanted it to work for everyone, everywhere, all the time. I think the thing that endures for me with Noguchi is that he really was not an artist of objects. He's an artist of perspective, of point of view, of philosophy, way of thinking. And his way of thinking just feels more timely with every passing year. Noguchi was trying to create an oasis of sanity and calm in the world to create things that have that sense of kind of outside time and spaceness. They just feel right and they work pretty much anywhere that you put them. <laughs>